Hello everybody, Father Jason here with an exciting announcement. We are having on-site uh, worship services again, beginning this Sunday, October the 4th. We will be worshiping outdoors and in our Earth and All Stars Outdoor Chapel, which you can see behind me in this virtual background uh, that I'm using this morning. Now, I know you are all excited. I know you have all looked forward to this day for a long time. I have as well. It's been since March 15th since we've gathered as a community to worship God, and I am very excited to get to do that again. And we are still in the middle of a global pandemic, one that has taken the lives of over a million people. So it is imperative that we practice the three W's of safety. Wash your hands, wear a mask, watch your distance. Let's explore what these three things mean for our worshiping community a little more. For our first W of safety, we said, wash your hands. We will have the bathrooms open and available for use on Sunday. Uh, and we invite you to do a couple of things to help us all stay safe. Please do wash your hands before you leave the restroom. We still have our instructions posted on ways to most healthily wash your hands to prevent the spread of the virus. We also, as part of that, have lyrics posted for the doxology. We invite you to sing that as you're washing your hands so you get a full 20 seconds of, uh, uh, of cleansing time, uh, which is recommended. Also, you notice that we have disinfectant wipes in the bathroom as well. After you are done uh, washing your hands, wipe down the counters, wipe down any of the handles that you touched uh, in the room, including the door handle and the handles on the toilets as well. This will just help us uh, prevent the spread of germs, uh, both for coronavirus and flu season is coming. This will just be a way we can all help each other stay safe. So please wash your hands. Our second W of safety is wear a mask. Wearing a mask is required for this service. I don't know why that mask wearing has become a controversial political topic. However, I do know that it helps keep us safe. A few years ago, I had carpal tunnel surgery on both of my hands. The same surgeon performed both surgeries. Both times, he wore a mask. Now, carpal tunnel is not contagious. He wasn't protecting himself. He was protecting me from his germs. And this was years before we were in the middle of a global pandemic that has taken over a million lives. So wearing a mask is a way of protecting our neighbor. It is a way of loving our neighbor, a way of not spreading germs to our neighbor. Indeed, the presiding bishop has even said, a way of love is to do this. Our third W of safety is watch your distance. On Sunday, the ushers for this first worship service are gonna be members of our COVID-19 task force. Educators, nurses, legal professionals who have been advising me in the last few months on how best to keep our community safe. They will be directing everyone to sit every other pew. Family groups are invited to sit together, of course. Individuals need to sit at least six feet apart. We'll also have rows taped off so that it'll better facilitate us and make it easy to see how to sit uh, every other pew to maintain social distance. Also, we invite you to enter from the outside of the pews, not the center aisle. Um, that is also to facilitate social distancing, but also we'll be having our camera set up in the back of the chapel. That's because we're gonna to continue to broadcast this service over the internet. And indeed, many of our community are high risk and will likely choose not to attend for a while. We welcome that. We even encourage that from our high risk brothers and sisters, because we don't want anyone 
uh, to get sick from this virus because they attended worship. And indeed, that is why we have implemented and required these three W's of safety. Wash your hands, wear a mask, watch your distance. We all live connected lives. We come here to be a part of this community, but that is not the only arena of our life. We go to school, we go to places of work. I uh, need to be able to visit the sick and the dying, and so I have to do everything I can to make sure that I am not in quarantine. And indeed, if uh, we were to be exposed to church, our entire worship team, myself, Deacon Jay, uh, Christopher, any of the other worship leaders would have to go into quarantine if we want to continue to have on-site services outdoors as long as the weather permits it's imperative that we practice these three w's of safety wash your hands wear a mask watch your distance one last thing about the chapel we do invite you if you would like to bring a lawn chair we have plenty of mode space on either side of the chapel and so you could bring a lawn chair and it may be more comfortable than the wooden benches and it would also facilitate social distancing. We will have uh, an amplifier out here and miking the service so you will be able to hear no matter where you sit um, and we're facilitating that as well. So we encourage you to spread out um, and uh, worship together and also uh, maintain social distance. We're really excited for Sunday, and we can't wait to see everyone. And remember, no matter what, God loves you more than you can possibly imagine.